Hello there and welcome back to yet a, another episode. So in this episode, I hopefully will start to plan out some of the other sections over here that we have sort of talked about before as well. But before we do that, let's just jump back into our main colony very quickly. And I'd like to start this episode by going through a couple of the amazing comments that you guys have left in the previous few videos. So first of all, we have a comment from Cyan Prince over here that has bought it. We don't actually need these wheels here anymore now, do we? Okay, yep, let's get this one out and this one out as well. They are going to complain just a little bit, but that's okay. We are going to place two engines here instead, which means you can probably go now. We don't need you anymore. And uh, yeah, that uh, has just freed up eight beavis for us which is fantastic next up we have a comment from lex terminate and uh it seems it's a quote i wouldn't be surprised if that's something that i've said in a previous episode as well although i can't quite remember because the the last four episodes i i kind of do them week by week so uh yeah four episodes in uh, in one weekend so it's all queued up for the for the whole week but anyway so the quote goes i have a feeling that my colony is doing pretty well by prince of dubai but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of rings a bell. I, I have a feeling I might have said something similar. Anyways, thank you very much for the kind comment. Now, next we have a comment from Aizuru who's surprised that we aren't using the blocks that stop the bad soil spread around a number of our tree farms. And that makes two of us. I'm also very surprised I have not used them. If only... <laughs> okay, it is called the Irrigation Barrier and it takes 400 science points. Well, we, we do have them. Now, where is it going to help us? I guess it is going to be somewhere here, isn't it? Yeah, quite a number of those trees. Well, actually, they seem to be growing well over here. But for some reason, some of them, every now and then, they seem to die. I mean, I guess we could... Okay, uh, what is the range on this here? Never mind, let's do this. We're going to rip out all of those trees it is kind of funny that all those trees seem to be pretty hydrated so uh yeah we're, we're still gonna rip them out and the same over here as well let's just grab a few and i think that's oh actually we might be getting a bit of hydration from this reservoir as well okay and hmm i mean it doesn't really make sense to do it over here okay fine i guess we shall do a few blocks in this zone as well Okay, do we have any other areas? I mean, here we should be fine. There isn't any bad tide coming through here. And hmm, if we block this off, then we might be in trouble. So it might be just better to leave things the way they are. And over here, until we place down some, uh, some kind of water dump tricks, which I don't think we want to do or need to do. So we should probably leave this the way it is for now as well. Okay, I think that covers everything, unless we want to... Hmm, we could even do it up here, isn't it? Okay, let's let's do it. Okay, it seems we have a drought approaching, but we should be fine, because we are quite nicely prepared now, aren't we? Okay, so we've unlocked the, the barrier itself as well. We're just going to wait for them to construct them, remove a few trees, and then we'll see how well it's going to work in our favor yeah we'll um, we'll leave this area as it is for now and we'll come and revisit this once we have a bit, bit of progress okay now the next comment is from cyan prince again thank you very much for leaving quite a few comments on our videos and um, you are saying that we need to work on separating our water bad water streams into separate channels so let's have a look i mean i think we've done it pretty nicely over here since none of that bad water should be flowing through here in this zone well that's gonna be all done very soon as well i think yeah it looks like it is overflowing a little bit so we might just want to add maybe another floodgate over here or maybe we just need to lower maybe we just need to yeah better automate this area i definitely want to spend a little bit of more time it's very boring to watch i think so um, i might do it off camera but uh yeah a bit of automation I, I want to fine tune it to a level where every single floodgate is uh, sort of controlled separately and depending on the level of water we will open or close them yeah just individually okay now this zone here is done as well we're just gonna hide the water real quick and let's have a look 
So we are starting to flood. Is it because there's too much stuff going on over here? Oh yeah, so that's 0 0.5. Why don't we just open you a little bit more for the time being? And we can do a bit of automation here as well. Maybe even like set up. Let's have a look. Let's not just talk about it. Let's just do it as well. I think we will set you up. Where is a good location? Maybe somewhere here. Let's have a look again. Is it likely to flood over here? Oh yeah, it is definitely very likely to flood. So where was you again? Yeah, we'll leave you be. We'll construct you here. And then basically if that area is or has too much water, then we're going to drop them gates a little bit lower. Okay, so you seem to be flooding a bit as well, but I think that is okay here. It's not really ruining anything for us, so yeah, we can leave you leave you for the time being. Now, what's flooding over here? Oh yeah, that's the that's the usual stuff in here, isn't it? Okay, fine. We've got 2.6 days till the flood. Let's uh let's just bring one of you down to make sure that the whole of colony is not going to be affected. And maybe some of you can go here. Actually, I don't think we need to because it's already flooding here anyways. Okay, fine. Now a quick fix we can do here as well. Let's just open these gates to 0 0.5 for the time being. We can also deepen this canal over here. And let us unlock the construction of the large uh, water wheels. Okay, that is definitely looking lovely indeed. Now, what shall we do over here? Should we face them the opposite way? I think so, yeah. Let's just... Uh, mirror it on the other side as well just so it looks all the same and what we shall do it's yeah it's gonna cost us a little bit more but that's fine it's not like we struggle with the resources right now so what we shall do is let's place you in the middle you in the middle here and there as well and what we can construct over here is a series of platforms and that shall be our maintenance shaft Okay, are you guys flooding even more? Oh dear, okay. So maybe we drop you for the time being as well. And hopefully that's going to fix our situation. Oh yeah, that seems to be equalizing pretty quickly. Okay, so with the comments now out of the way, let's look at something else that's been kind of uh, something we've had to do for quite some time. Let's remove this road. The beavers won't be very happy. However... Okay, we might have to disconnect you as well. Oh dear. Okay, so you roads are still done. Let's just pause it for a second. Okay, you're going to complain, but we have promised that we do want a district crossing. And that is going to go right like so. Okay, highest of priority and for workers as well. How many workers is it going to be? Oh, quite a few actually. All right, so there we go. Yep, we are finally doing the district crossing. I would like to do another one as well. I was thinking that maybe somewhere here would be a good location for you. You might have to run around. Oh, actually, never mind. This is perfect. Let's get this one over here. Not the builder's hut. Let's have a look. Where are you? Small gate. Oh dear, I think the problem we are facing... Oh yeah, you are still connected over there. Let's pause you. Yet another one okay so this one goes here uh everyone is complaining but so be it right 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 a small one unlock you oh we still can't place you down though oh wait a second that's because it's too wide isn't it all right let's try it out over here grab you again nope wrong one oh yeah here we go Alrighty, highest of priorities on both ends. Here we go. Yep, you guys are going to complain. Oh, okay. We are going to have to do a temporary district center over here. And uh, temporary, yes, I know. I know. I'm certain this will be temporary because we do want to place it up here on the hill instead. Okay. Now, you guys are complaining. No haulers in the district. Oh, that's because we probably don't have anyone in this district. Right, so why don't we take a look. In here, we would like to migrate some population. And uh, <laughs> you are bots, right? We'd like to have 
all the bots, always not, not this one, all of them go to District 4. Might have to rename you guys as well, isn't it? Okay. So this one over here, let's call it the Iron or Scrap City. Scrap City, there we go. Just so it will be a little bit easier to identify. Okay, we want to have all the bots. And there we go. Okay, lovely. Now we are also going to need some beavers. How many do we need right now? Let's just close everything and have a look again. Oh dear, that's, uh, that's a lot of jobs, isn't it? But I think we are A-OK. -okay. Scrap City is going to take, let's say, I think it said 69, but let's start with the 60. Let's see what happens first. Okay, here they come. We're not going to have any builders in here, which is a bit problematic. Okay, fine. We're going to have to deal with this straight away. Hauling post is very important as well. So we'll place you over here. Okay, that's the highest of priorities. And... Oh dear. Let's get a couple of beavers over here as well, so we can start constructing things. Right, okay. We still have 11 jobs, is it? Vacancies. Okay, let's bring in another 10. Alright, so whilst we add it, why don't we get a builder's hut going over here as well. And I think with this one, how much science do we have? Oh, we still have a little bit. Okay, let's change it up and we are going to fill this with pots so we can construct things all night long. Okay, yeah, it feels like a, such a risky thing to do before the drought starts, but I, I think we should be fine. Yeah, everything else seems to be almost okay here as well, just a bit of a flood, but I mean, if anything, that should improve our gameplay going forward because they don't have to run such long distances anymore. We still have 15 beavers without jobs so yeah we can probably get rid of a few of those builder huts i don't think there's gonna be that many things to build here anymore and uh, you know what i'm not gonna destroy them just yet however we have freed up oh wow 27 beavers uh <laughs> okay another thing we are gonna need is to change up this area in here now these buildings what i don't like here is that they don't have access to the to the ground level so instead of shifting everything over i think what we can do is just placing another okay so you're gonna be a little bit difficult aren't you we can do two over here then they can build the roofs and i think we'll be we'll be fine now we are also gonna want to extend this a little bit because it looks like we have quite a few beavers 31 oh dear Okay, fine. Not to worry. This is okay. Um, <laughs> how can we do this? Perhaps we bring a road through here. That means, unfortunately, these trees are going to have to go as well. And we are going to do some stilts. I would like to place these houses on the water, I think. Okay, let's not do these ones. Let's um, build it in steps. Okay, here we go. That's where the road is going to be. They'll walk up and... Oh yeah, we are still going to need these ones here as well. And maybe we'll do the middle one a little bit higher, side ones lower. Or maybe not. Let's just let them clean this up a little bit and then we can finish off these buildings. Actually, never mind. Let's give these ones the highest of priority so we can definitely have it constructed right so another day has dawned and i think we're gonna do some emergency housing over here because we have about 46 beavers that are a bit homeless it appears oh yeah we're definitely gonna need uh, let's see okay so maybe you are gonna take the highest of priorities since we are gonna have to construct quite a few things we should probably not stop building oh yeah a couple of you more I mean, we don't need this access over here or this area in general. It, it, it's fine to sort of block things in. So, yeah, let's give these things the highest of priorities. One of them is already, but with the resources, it seems... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we do have to manually carry over here. So, 
it might be a little bit slower. But that's okay. I think work-wise we're good now. The other district now has a few spare beds, which is lovely to see. Okay, yep, 40 of them. I <laughs> don't think we are going to need them now, are we? Okay, everything else. Okay, of course you haven't been able to build anything over here. Because we need those houses. I think we're going to have to wait a little bit. Let's get these buildings done and we'll be back very shortly. The drought has started and we've also managed to construct a couple of builder huts as well. Let's just take a quick look. How is our water? I think this one should be fine in here. And our newest ones, you are all sealed up as well. What about this one in here? Uh, hold on a second. No, 0.5. I think things are fine. And all of you are 0.5, which is... I guess it's okay, because everything else should be locked, right? Oh, uh, yep. That's the case for this one. We don't have any power. Oh, yeah. We have talked about figuring this out very soon as well. And then another thing we should do over here is... We don't have a lot of storage, actually, for the... For the food types and factories. Hmm. Okay. We're going to have to sacrifice the beauty of this area a little bit. I mean, it's going to be fine. We are going to fix this in the future anyways. Now, I think this was... Hmm. Actually, we're not quite sure where is the main road going to be. Uh, I don't want to do temporary storages here. No, we don't. But with the layout, how shall we go about it? So we should probably... To a couple of those bigger ones. They could go over here. Okay, so I think we have a rough idea. Very simple. We are going to still leave a bit of a gap in here. Because I think that's where we wanted to place a couple of trees. Maybe not just trees. Maybe we wanted to do some beautification here as well. I guess we shall see. These trees do need to be replaced. Okay, is anything marked for harvesting in here? No, it isn't. Oh, okay. Okay. The reason why we haven't done them again is because they have not been marked. We are starting to get some houses already, which is fantastic. And we have quite a few beavers that help us with the construction as well. Uh, <laughs> power is still flowing. I guess we could maybe... Let's pause this as well, because we don't really need that dirt just yet and that's gonna give us a another four beavers so that should be uh, should be all good it's a little odd how this pool is very low on water right now but maybe hmm maybe this levee wasn't done or maybe we've just dug down another few levels anyways let's move on to our next project uh hold on a second we've got eight spare beavers we could probably bring them here are you full already no, you can take a couple more. So let's bring another... Yeah, let's change it to 100. That should be a good amount for us. And before we start our construction project, let's have a quick look over here as well. Is everything done? Oh yeah, they've done all the blocks now. We've got the irrigation barriers in. And now we can expand the forest a little further. I mean, I guess we could do it over here as well if you we want to. Like so. Yep, let's do it. We shall take a quick look over here as well. <laughs> okay, they've freed up just a little bit. We can do this here. And I don't think it has the range, but um, okay, it's fine. Too far from district center. How about now? Still. This little road here seems to have helped us, so they'll remove the last one. And then we can lock this off. After the Great Migration, it seems we have a bit of a problem. Now, moving 100 beavers over to this new district center does mean we don't have enough food to feed them all because everything was and currently is stored in our main district over here. Okay, we do have quite a few beavers that are carrying stuff over, but I think they're also doing other things such as logs, extract and yeah blanks and all sorts of things so um we're gonna have to figure out a slightly more efficient and better way how to get stuff over a little bit quicker so what i was thinking something we could do over here let's just give this the highest of priorities we could create a another district for the time being at least whilst we are waiting for the other buildings to be constructed Okay, I believe we still have a few construction beavers. And is anyone coming over? Well, 
there's a couple more trees over here and there we go so let's give you the highest of priorities as well same on the opposite side and I do want to ensure that this is maxed out whereas this one over here I don't think we need that many beavers two of them should be fine okay highest of priorities and there we go the next problem that we have had here for quite some time and we mentioned before as well is power so a quick fix is hopefully let's just put a couple of uh, shafts over there just like so and uh, yeah as we said uh, hopefully this will fix it for us okay a few trees for decorations and this area is already looking very lovely indeed a couple more over here and i think that should be it right oh no we can do one more just like so we'll highlight these trees as well and hopefully it's going to be fixed up ah the beaver still complaining now water we should oh yeah we've got tanks that are full over here and uh, the food is starting to come in as well so that is lovely no one's complaining about no beds anymore so that's awesome what is everyone complaining here then they are injured so for that we are building some temporary areas over here we'll do a couple of teeth grindstones here as well just in case and i think four hospital beds maybe is gonna be enough who knows quite a few things to construct over here but that should help us fix the problems right so since the logs are a bit problematic why don't we give them a slightly bigger area to practice wood cutting i think that should be enough right and over here okay we should probably mark these trees as well once they get harvested we shall replant everything i have noticed that this one here is a little bit out of reach so to fix that another set of stairs very quick and nice and easy fix so we have let a few days pass just to see how the colony is coping and readjusting so what I have quickly done is pause most of the builders huts over here and one of the hauling posts as well because there's not that many jobs left in this zone here. This has allowed us to bring over most of the beavers into, into this one. There's still about 12 beavers that could be working somewhere but we just haven't figured out where shall we place you guys. Okay, you are lacking logs so we'll give you a slightly high priority. Should probably place us another smaller storage i guess somewhere about here we'll set you the logs and with the with the highest priority let's make sure this uh, tank over here or the storage is always full of logs so that way we can power the or fuel the engine as well another thing since we do have a construction site let's make sure it's the highest and for the beavers maybe that's the uh, little bit lower but since we do have this baby, we might as well put them to work. Next project that we would like to do, let's have a quick look at the food as well. So that is definitely improving a little bit. Now, mangroves are starting to come alive, which is great. I have quickly placed another wooden stair over here. And what I'd like to do, of course, is to add a few mangroves all over this zone. That should be enough. A few over here as well. All right, I don't think they can plant most of them. No, they cannot. But we do have a beaver available to hire right about here as well. So that should be fine. Once that is done, we should have the reach for the uh, most of this zone. Next, let's have a look at uh, some of the other hardships that we are facing. So the water level seems to remain pretty good over here. And we have enough stored up in the tanks as well because we, we, we've got enough pumps. I've uh, now set them to pause during drought, so half of them will still be working, just to make sure that in case we get slightly longer droughts that they don't run completely dry, and then the other half will be will be paused. Surprise, surprise, it seems they've managed to complete half of those large water wheels already, which of course to me is a bit surprising. I thought it didn't have enough blanks, but slowly and surely, it seems we are almost done with this. Okay. Well, that's lovely to see. Then uh, harvesting in this area seems to be okay as well. Let's give you a slightly high priority. Get another lumberjack flag over here so we could clean and tidy this up. I'd like to make a few changes in here as well. So right now the water sometimes is flowing in this area. And then uh, we want this to flow through this narrow canal. 
and uh, fill up this tank over here which we I guess technically aren't really using but nevertheless what I'd like to do is improve the situation here just by a little bit so if we expand this zone just by a little bit we should be able to open up this area in here as well we won't be needing those floodgates I think and hmm well first of all let's just speed up the time because it's night time we are gonna have to unfortunately yeah remove some of the ruins over here actually what I'm thinking we could keep the ones in the middle and where we are gonna need to change things up oh okay so this one is kind of in our way as well okay it's just these ones over here right couple more levels here we go and then that should be done just like so as well all right the way we're gonna remove this section over here is I think it's gonna be pretty simple oh it's gonna be 50 50 isn't it okay just a second let's remove this pillar over here okay now one two I think this one should be the closest right I mean we could also oh wow okay let's give this a try how high is the water oh it's gonna be a little bit taller isn't it so that's what we are gonna do a couple of stairs will have the scavenging flag just above it and then hopefully he's gonna focus on the ruins on this side if he's gonna take both of them I guess uh, so be it and um uh... Yeah, as long as we get this one out here, we can still save all the other ruins. Uh, right, right, right. Maybe a slightly high priority. Let's just make sure that the... Oh, he might still go over here. Never mind. Let's block you in here as well. Uh, actually, one second. I think we can do something like this instead. Maybe this will allow us to... Oh yeah, here we go. Highest priority for you, for you. And then this means they can only go and harvest the ruins over here. Now, the next thing we need to make sure is that we don't forget about it and uh, cover or pause the operations here once we are done. And here we go. The drought has finally ended, which means we can fill up everything again. I mean, I don't think we were struggling with water just yet anyway so that is all lovely and good however we shall see how some of that automation is going to be working for us and between hopefully the next episodes as well i'll uh, sort of see where we flood and how can we improve this further i mean the main option yeah is going to be either to expand those canals or automate the uh, floodgates a little bit here. So I think we've had some good progress in this episode. I am super glad that we finally have the district crossings down, not just one, not two, but actually all three of them. So the, there's this little one here as well and the beavers are running around making sure that the goods are flowing between the two districts that we do have in here. Now in the next episode we will most definitely, hopefully, will start building up this mountain of ancient civilization. What we discussed, I think it was in, in the previous episode, but I'd like to start building up some terrain blocks mixed with some levees to make it look half natural, half sort of artificial and a bit abandoned as well so we'll see how the development of this mountain goes in the next episode for now thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you very soon